I don't want to point this out, but they're 60 plus, yeah. right? Like, it's, I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry. It's a, It's incredible. Like, I mean, to do that after retirement and find purpose, you know, and like your next degree of purpose, it's incredible. Not everybody does that, so. So I'm Usha Sundar, co-founder of hi Youth Foundation. I'm R. Sundar, uh, co-founder of hi Youth Foundation. And you're watching Ekalabya's home of Indian basketball. Uh, fortunately for us, uh, we have been able to, uh, you know, bridge the gap. Okay, meaning uh, my exit from a software company gave us some capital. So we are not like the normal NGO, which is, you know, hand to mouth. Okay, because of that, it helps us to any center that we start a program in, we do it very carefully because we do not want to stop a program for want of funds. So once we start something, we will stick with it. And fortunately, we have the capital to be able to do that, okay? So what we seek from our funding partners is, what we assure them is continuity of the program. And what we seek from them is the support. And fortunately for us, anyone who has supported us has remained for the long term. Whether, you know, book a smile, was a wonderful strategic partner. They've helped us build about five courts uh, all over India. Uh, Sachin Tendulkar Foundation has helped us with about four or five courts. Uh, we are starting a relationship with 2K Foundation. Uh, so, I mean, the good thing is, uh, the first breakthrough takes time, uh, but after that, seeing the results of the program, and for us, the biggest selling point, or the thing that convinces everyone is, one thing we can claim, definitely, is the point that Ronnie made. You will not see one sad face in this court, okay? When you see these children, how can you not love them? You know, uh, we are old, we are all, I mean, I'm 60 plus, uh, but for me to recharge, for my wife to recharge, all we have to do is come to the court, see these wonderful smiling faces, and we are at 110%. So how can you, so the best thing I say for all our partners, all our supporters is come see the kids in action, you will fall in love. For us, you know, finally it is like basketball, we say court to community, okay? So what happens on the basketball court has got to translate into better lives for the children, better belief in themselves, self-confidence, and that is what drives, you know? Uh, so for example, you'll see a bunch of photographs of kids graduating with, you know, uh, the convocation and all that. These are all first generation learners. None of their families, the tribal families have ever mm -hmm. gone to uh, high school or college. Uh, so when you see one batch of those people, that will, you know, uplift your spirits for doing a lot more. Okay, and also Hi-Fi, uh, it's actually more professionally run than many other organizations in India, right? Even though it's a non-profit. So how important is it to have structured, have designed programs to get serious investors like Ronnie or Tendulkar Foundation to buy into your vision? Uh, for us, uh, for me, uh, Personally, my personal journey is about scale and quality. <clears throat> uh, if you can't do something at scale, that means uh, you, it will not be of good quality. So for me, because we are a non-profit, like you said, uh, we have a choice. So whatever you do, you do well. Otherwise, don't do it. No one is forcing you to do it because we are not doing it for the money. We are doing it for the love. So if you're doing it for love, do it well. Otherwise, don't do it at all. That's kind of the philosophy with which we work. So, which is why the first thing that we did uh, uh, when we started our thing was, I still remember the comment, we had three coaches and we said, we're going to take you for training. And these were all people who had played at the state level and things like that. And they said, you are going to teach us basketball because I don't, I mean, you can see I'm not very tall, uh, not the basketball uh, I'm trying to teach them how to play. <laughs> so uh, we said, no, you know basketball already. We will teach you how to teach basketball. Yeah. Okay, and that structure is what helped us, frankly, uh, Gopal, to get, you know, our first break, BMC came to us and said, would you run this program in 20 schools? We said, we can't do 20, but we can do 12. And so we picked 12 schools. We, because we had a standard method and a curriculum and all of that, we could expand to states. We, otherwise, we would not be able to do that's why you'll see that most of the grassroots sports programs are one centers or two centers, never 35 centers. Okay, so for us, structure, and I think bad habits of uh, 
tech entrepreneur, software company, you know, so everything has to be about us and quality. Definitely, it's All important that. to create that everything, structure. Everything. Yeah. When you're going to do something good and, 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 and you're going and to and scale it, you yeah. have to do. Otherwise, totally the Guru Kul system, you know, doesn't, I mean, it works, it works well, but it works well for small things, you know. Frankly, uh, like I said, Heartbeat, which is uh, our, you know, basketball elite academy and uh, training and tournament center, I call it. Uh, that is a big project. That's a dream project of ours. Uh, and logically, that has to be done in Bombay. Uh, and some donor has come forward with eight acres of land. Uh, and it is a big project, okay? Uh, and I think it will be one of a kind in India, uh, at least definitely for the uh, region, because what we want to do, frankly, is be able to have 20 teams come in and you know stay there as a dorm. We give them food, we run a tournament for one week, like the bubble in COVID, you know? So we want to do it like that. So this center will do that, and that will help us to bring all our children from all over India into this place. What we always think is, uh, we tell people, why are you doing this after your retirement? Why you, where do you want to spend all your time like this? So this journey is my heart. The heart says do it. For him, it's the mind which tells do it. So with both of us together, we bring in this uh, uh, nice, uh, uh, a feeling yeah. of having this hi-fi children, the energy, it just energizes us in every way. Oh, you showed me around, it seems ages ago. Yeah. Did you expect to reach this far 4,000 students across the eight states? These are massive numbers. Massive numbers, yeah. yeah. No, we really didn't. No, see no, I, I agree with her on that. Uh, we didn't, we, we didn't realize. It just happened one after the other, yeah. one after the other, one after the other. The reason is, we have such good partners in every state. I said, you know, you can do this. Why don't you replicate Mumbai? Why don't you replicate this? So it's so forth. It started with Telangana, then went into West Bengal. And, you know, we found such good partners everywhere. And that is, and a team of people, you already see or saw those people out here. We have a very good, very team, good team. team on the ground. Yeah. That is the reason we are able to go up and down US and India so that we can keep one foot there, one foot here, and you know, kind of manage. And these guys, these boys here do a fantastic job on the ground. So that is what is making this whole thing happen. And we're still scaling, I don't know what is the next state. And we still have, have uh, questions from many people. Can you do this, Chathis, uh, Chhattisgarh. Chhattisgarh, yeah. So we have not yet done Chhattisgarh, we have not yet gone north. Yeah. Uh, oh. We will uh, see our sweet spot is to do this in tribal boarding schools. So whenever we get an offer from a tribal boarding school yeah. uh, or a boarding school in a different state, we do our Reiki, we find their commitment. So which is how, you know, for example, the Arunachal Pradesh is not by design. Uh, we got a call from Ram Krishna Mission Arunachal uh, saying that please come. We want a basketball court. They didn't say anything else. So we are building our first indoor basketball court in Alo, Arunachal Pradesh. They need it. Yes, they need it in, uh, indoors because uh, it's a very rainy area, uh, so yeah. Okay, so you don't have a specific, you're the mind and you're the heart, I got that. <laughs> but do you have a specific thing that you want to do? We want to get 30 states, what is your? Our thing is 10,000 children is our goal. So, okay. That's too easy. Huh? <laughs> no, 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 it's not easy. 4,000 children every day, every it day. is not 4,000 <laughs> children. When we say in total today, that means 4,000 hours of basketball Getting is happening every, every day. day. There are 4,000 children all over in the program. Today you saw about 200 of them. Imagine 4,000 children in eight states, all training. It is not that 4,000 children passed out of our thing. No, 4,000 children, children are currently, currently in the program. So 10,000 children is a lot of children. <laughs> so every so, day, 4,000 children are, are learning, are learning no. basketball. And the last question is, uh, this is, I want this on record because yeah. you've told me this earlier, is that the whole vision of Hi-Fi is because of your experience with your son, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, <laughs> yes. He, can you just take us through that and how you want to replicate that with other kids? Oh, it was just, he, we, just we, we just got inspired by him because he started giving back to the community in a small way, just uh, coaching basketball with the regular children, not the underprivileged. I mean, this was in the US. So we went back to, uh, coaching regular children there. That connection between him and the children inspired, inspired us. us. 
to start something here. We said, you know, we are going to have young people. So we are the oldest in the, in the organization in 60 plus. Everybody is 35, 35 plus, plus, 35 and under, yeah. So that is the, the kind of, and they still love working with us. I asked them, what, what, is, what is it that you guys love working with old people like us? No, you energize us. That's what they also say. And same thing, they energize us. So that's no, but I think uh, one uh, important thing with all of these, uh, you know, kids, we wanted to do something in sports. Yeah. We wanted to do education. That is, we wanted to bring, you know, education to the kids, actually. Uh, but there are enough NGOs doing education. So we decided to do, do something sports. Different. Okay. And uh, when you think sports, the Vada Pao in UK, in US, of sports, team sports is basketball, right? It is the equivalent. So that is the most common sport Indian guys love. So basketball was the natural choice. And because our kids, our the, sons played yeah, it, they played so on and so forth. So that's why we started with basketball yeah. and we don't regret one moment of it. It's been fantastic.